Nearly a thousand pages of court documents related to Jeffrey Epstein have been unsealed. Epstein, a financer known for bringing celebrities and government officials to his private island, was awaiting trial on federal charges for the sex trafficking of minors. He died by suicide in jail in 2019. In these documents, more than 100 names of people who had some sort of connection with Epstein. Now, keep in mind, appearing in these documents does not necessarily imply any wrongdoing. We wanted to bring back our friend, court and legal affairs reporter Megan Cuniff to dig into these documents. So, Megan, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thanks for having me. Well, there's a lot of misinformation swirling around on social media about these documents. So what did we already know and what is new based on what was released yesterday? You know, the, the big new thing is just having all these names in the document form. And it's really corroborating a, a lot of reporting that we've seen over the years about who's involved and, and who these names are. And and some of the reporting that we've heard is really, really reflected in the documents. Like we, we've heard things about Donald Trump's association with Jeffrey Epstein. We've heard a lot of things about Bill Clinton's association with Jeffrey Epstein. And these are all names that are coming up in the documents. And, and people are digging through and trying to find, is there any new context for this? And, and that's the important thing is, is trying to figure out where does this new information fit in with all the information that we've had. And, and from what I've heard from, from people who've been covering this case forever and just kind of digging through the documents myself is that there isn't any new bombshell in this, but it's also uh, the, the first trove of documents. There could be more coming. And it, it's just the, the weight of seeing all this in actual court document form and also seeing it all together. I, I think for the public to be able to look through all this stuff is extraordinary. Absolutely. So maybe no bombshells in your opinion, but what has been like the most interesting or surprising thing to come out of this drop yesterday? Uh, you know, probably the most surprising thing might be how how unsurprising some of the information was for the the people who have been following the case forever, just in terms of who the names were and and how they were being mentioned. But the uh, the going forward, I think people are looking to to see what's in these documents and how people are being mentioned moving forward. But right now, it's it, it, it sounds like this is reiterating a lot of stuff that we'd heard in in different forms and uh, and just giving the, the public a chance to really look at it themselves. Absolutely. Right now, appearing in these court documents doesn't imply wrongdoing, but do you believe that could change? And if so, how could it change? Uh, no, I, I don't believe it could change because the, the, the documents aren't going to change. And, and one thing to keep in mind is that these documents have been sealed from the public, but they haven't been sealed from the attorneys, from the court system and from the people who have been actually dealing with the case. So the uh, the plaintiff's attorneys especially, I think, would be keenly aware of any uh, huge wrongdoing showcased in the documents. And that would have been you know something that they'd been, been focusing on over the over the last few years but I, I think it's a question of, of reputation and just the fact that this stuff is coming up again and it's not you know a, a, a report on a website or a, a, or a media report on TV it's an actual court document that, that people can look at themselves and there's no denying it there's no way to spin it there's no way to blame the mainstream media for not covering something. So if I understand this correctly, the documents only came to light because a newspaper sued over them about five years ago. Can you explain how that happened? Yeah, this is the Miami Herald that's really done some pivotal re reporting in this and been instrumental in bringing the Epstein case to light and, and the light plea deal that he'd gotten originally in Florida. And and they'd really pressed over the years to, to unseal these documents. This has been going on for a number of years. And I know uh, J Julie Brown, the reporter at the Miami Herald, uh, who broke the Epstein story and really did a lot of reporting on that, has been monitoring, monitoring this really closely. And her lawyers, uh, at the Miami Herald were, were really working on this to to try to unseal it and, and just bring more light to this this case, which is what the Miami Herald and, 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 and Julie has, have been doing the entire time. More to come and more to learn over the next dis coming days and coming weeks. Court and legal affairs reporter Megan Cunef, thank you so much for being with us. And as always, we appreciate your insight. Thank you so much. Thank you.